Hello everybody, I'm Josh with the Crazy Fish People and today is kind of a special day. Today we are getting a fish order, one of our first ones for our new system and uh, it includes mostly fish. We have one coral coming. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got, all the unboxing, um, how to acclimate the fish properly and what we're going to be doing today. So the delivery man should be here any moment and uh, I'll get right back to you. All right, everybody, we are back. Um, here's the box, just got here. And there's the tank. So, first thing I'm gonna do before even opening this is I'm just gonna turn off all these lights up here. Now this is so that whenever you put your fish and coral in that they don't get uh, burned by the light because they've been in a dark area for so long, they're gonna be very sensitive. So, uh, why don't we get to opening up this box? One, two. Just remember to be very careful when you're opening your boxes. There's lots of bags in there. You can easily pop. Here we go. Heating packs are still nice and warm. Acclimation kit. Insulation. And there's our fish. There's uh, one of my damsels. Placing the tank as I go. Another damsel. A lot of water in it. Oh, that would be my blue eyed tang. My damsel. Oh no, oh, that's like a Kobe. My big bag. She's got our brain coral in it. Still got plenty more to go in here. There is our. Could be a damsel. Yeah, it's a damsel. The tank. There is our butterfly fish. I'm going to be throwing a lot of bags away today. Oh, six line wrasse. Some kind of white floating stuff in there. There's another wrasse. Get these guys in there, I'm sure they're not the most happiest. Now, I believe some of these are actually Shane's. I think one of them, one of them is. I bought one for him. One of the six line wrasses. Oh, there's the uh, blue tang. Coral Beauty. It's a really small one. Cleaner grass. More white stuff in there. I believe that's the other goby. Lots of bags in the tank. And this one, oh. That is the uh, yellow tang, the blacked out bag. All right, and they give you a drip acclimator. I'm gonna finish getting these guys acclimated and uh, I'll get back to you guys. All right, we're back. And all the fish are nice and happy in the water. 
There's one of the gobies I got. The gobies were most likely the hardest of the fish to acclimate due to as soon as I put it in, I put it in at the upper part of the tank and it immediately tried to jump out. So I actually had to re-catch him and put him down deeper that way he wouldn't try to jump. So always remember to put your jumping fish like gobies and some wrasses towards the bottom. That way they don't get the instinct to jump right away. Because sometimes they'll, they'll be scared or excited to get out of the bag and they just don't know what to do except for try to flee. So you want to make sure they're out of harm's way and not going to fly out of the tank. Some of them with the smaller fish will like to hide for a little bit. And the brain coral. And if any of you are wondering where I got these fish, I got them from Blue Zoo Aquatics. Um, good fish selection. I wouldn't say so much about their coral. Some of their stuff is very generalized, but I only got one coral, so I can't really judge too much. So, thanks for watching. Got plenty more videos to come. And uh, more than likely, I'll be talking about why I got these fish. So, if you get any of you curious, just stick around. I'll, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching.